PLS have been producing debug test and trace tools for embedded systems for more than 30 years. And now we are one of the technology leaders in that field. So at PLS, it's everything about universal debug engine, UDE is a short form. And the UDE combines a extensive and powerful function set for debugging system analysis of embedded software together with a fast and reliable access to the target systems. The UDE as a tool consists of the actual debugger software that is running on your Windows PC and a access device of our universal access device family. That means that you can debug and test directly on the target hardware and observe and test directly uh, on the embedded system. The target is accessed via the specific debug and trace interfaces of the supported microcontrollers. Um, and that is supported by our uh, universal exit devices. Besides uh, the debugging on real hardware, UDE can also be used as a front end for virtual platforms or simulators. For example, uh, instruction set simulation for the Infineon Tricore and Oryx, or um, for other architectures together with the Synopsys VDK. The UDE supports a wide range of microcontroller architectures and microsystems. Um, there is a lot seen here on this slide, but we go not too broad into the masses. We go into the depths instead. And we concentrate our architecture and controller support to those controllers and um, embedded systems that are really relevant for our customers. They are primarily from the automotive and industrial sectors. And so we are focusing on these architectures and controllers. As the latest architecture, uh, we have introduced uh, in the last year our support for RISC-V to the embedded community. Before I give you a brief introduction into the, some of the key features of UDE, let me give you an overview uh, about the universal access device family. So the family consists of three devices. We call them universal access devices, short UADs. The debug tool gets access to the particular target system using the UADs. Whereas the UAD itself is completely target independent. So they do not have to be changed if another target should be debugged. Um, the different debug interfaces that are implemented by the particular hardware vendor for the controllers are supported by target specific debug adapters that are attached to the uh, UADs. The base device in our family is the UD2 Pro on the bottom of this slide. Um, it can be used for debugging and test tasks. It has a connector for or a universal debug interface connector for our uh, target adapters as well as a D sub connector for can, so this device can also be used to record can messages or to use can as a physical interface or physical layer for debugging. The UD2 Pro is connected to your PC via a USB uh, connection. The UD2 Next in the middle of this slide show, uh, is the all-rounder in our family. It also supports in addition to the debug interfaces and the CAN um, trace interfaces and can capture up to 512 megabyte trace data from the target. For this purpose, the UAD to next is extended by plug-in trace modules um, 
for different types of trace interfaces and for connecting the UD to Next to your PC, either USB or uh, a Ethernet interface can be used. So you can uh, put the device also in your company network or um, access it from the home office. In addition um, to the uh, normal debug interfaces, we also provide an optional range extender for the UD to Next that allows debugging over distances of up to two meters between the base unit and the target system. Together with the network capability, the UD to Next is perfect for test tracks where we have only limited space at the target site. The uh, high-end device in our family is the UD3+. Plus. It is uh, it allows uh, to record traces of up to four gigabyte uh, trace sizes at the moment. And uh, in the near future, we will increase the available trace memory in the device to eight gigabyte. Um, so you can use it uh, to capture trace information or trace data from your target over high speed uh, interfaces such as Aurora, Aurora, Nexus Trace, or ARM HSSTP. It can also be used for multi-controller debugging, so up to eight targets can be um, connected in parallel and also um, used in one debug session. Uh, for synchronized debugging of uh, multiple targets, we provide a special um, adapter for uh, synchronizing debugging um, that can be synchronized up to two, uh, two targets um, at the moment from the OX architecture. Like the UD2 Next, either USB can be used to connect the UD3 uh, Plus to the, your PC, or you can also use it in the network. For that, we provide a gigabit Ethernet. As already mentioned, the UODs are universal in terms of the target system. The only target specific part is the debug adapter. I've uh, put some of them here on this slide. And the uh, debug adapters match to the specific debug interfaces implemented by the hardware vendor. In addition to the standard version of debug adapters, all adapters are also available as a so-called ISO adapters. Uh, these provide galvanically isolated connections that allows even debugging in electrical challenging environments. So now it's time to take a look at some of the key features of UDE. From the user's point of view, the most outstanding feature is certainly our multi-core support. So in fact, UDE is a true multi-core debugger, first of all. Uh, UDE provides a clear view to the whole system rather than only to individual cores. And this is clearly reflected in our user interface. Instead of opening separate debugger instances for each core, all cores are available or visible in one common and consistent user interface. Um, Core-specific colors for windows and controls help you to find your way around quickly in your uh, multi-core application. Debugging itself is synchronized by default. All the cores are stopped synchronously at a breakpoint, for example, and also um, start running synchronously on a go or step command. Depending on the use case, the synchronization can also be switched off completely or limited to a selection of cores. For shared code that it's used by uh, not only one core, we provide multi-core breakpoints and they take uh, effect no matter which core is currently executing the code. Setting up a debug session from scratch, we call a debug session as a workspace, um, is very simple with UDE, whether for single core applications or multi-core debugging. With a few clicks, you can create the workspace 
and predefined target configurations for almost all the evaluation boards of supported controllers uh, will help you during these steps. UDE offers a whole range of powerful functions for devices that provide trace support. On the one hand, UDE can be used for trace-based debugging. That is, for example, if the target is not allowed to be stopped for debugging and, uh, and the debugging has to be done uh, non-intrusive. That means without changing the runtime behavior of the application uh, caused by the debug access, for example. On the other hand, you can also perform trace-based measurement and runtime analysis. For this purpose, UDE offers functions like profiling, uh, core graphs, code coverage, or the visualization of the program flow over the time. All the known and common trace systems are supported, such as the ARM core site, MCDS from Infineon, or Nexus trace that can be found for the power architecture devices from ST or NXP. To be able to debug applications that are uh, under control of an operating system or real-time operating system, various operating system add-ins are available for UDE. So last year, we extended the support for our uh, real-time operating or for real-time operating systems in UDE. Um, so the last additions that we made uh, to our Artus awareness support is uh, are the safe Artus um, operating system from Wittenstein, uh, free Artus, which is a um, open source implementation, and also PXROS HR, which is from uh, Hitech. The Artus support, which is available as a it in, as mentioned before, makes the operating system information itself visible to the user and not only the debug information from the user's application that is controlled by such an Artus. If you have a trace capable hardware, then also you can perform some task traces. This allows you to visualize not only the sequence of the functions executed, uh, on your target, but also the sequence of the tasks of your operating system. This helps, for example, to find deadlocks um, between tasks or timing problems that are caused by uh, a wrong task prioritization, for example. The UDE offers also support for AutoSA and OSIC-based systems. This includes uh, the visualization of the operating system variables, as well as also the task trace if you have a trace capable device available. Last but not least, I'd like to briefly introduce our automation support. Many of you certainly also expect the possibility to control the debug tool by scripts. That is possible, of course, with uh, UDE. However, uh, we go further with the help of our so-called UDE object model, which is a software API based, of, uh, based on Microsoft Common Object Model, or short COM. Um, we do not allow uh, you to control the UDE uh, using specific scripting language. You can use every scripting language uh, that you like. And you can also connect third-party tools uh, to UDE. So you can uh, couple, for example, test tools that are perform performing tests directly on the hardware to UDE. New in our version 2021, which we uh, showcase here at the Embedded World, we extended our automation support and added an integrated console for the popular Python scripting language into the UDE. So you can now control UDE by textual commands instead of clicking with your mouse. 